Boys, we're jumping out of the monster truck right now. And a lot of you guys have been asking what's done to your truck and also I've been dropping hints on how I did this for free. If you guys don't know the people that watch the videos, I've been talking non-stop about how I lifted this truck for free. I've been dropping hints and today I'm going to be breaking down what's done to it and also how I was able to lift this truck with labor, with the lift, with the wheels, all for free. And if you guys don't know, this is like a $30,000 lift wheels and tires setup. So that is pretty crazy how I was able to do that. But first things first, let's check this thing out. So this is my 2015 F350 Platinum. I bought it about eight months ago. And when I bought it, it looked like this. And now it looks like this. So when I bought it, it came with a nice set of wheels and tires. It came with coils up front. It came with shocks in the rear. Obviously a lot smaller, but it was a nice truck. And what I was able to do is get a crazy good deal on this lift on Facebook Marketplace. And also I bought these wheels off a of buddy. I think he had them posted on Facebook Marketplace too. And then I was able to sell the stock stuff and pay for a huge chunk of the lift kit wheels and tires. But then also I had to do a little bit of finessing too. But first things first, let's talk about this lift. So right here, you're looking at a 13 inch RBP max altitude lift kit. It's got coilovers front and rear. As you can see, usually there's a leaf spring back here and you got rid of all of that. So now we're coilovers all around. It's four linked. The whole transfer case had to be clocked. So the front drive shaft works. As you can see how it's hanging down farther. I don't know if you guys, if you guys don't know trucks, you probably won't understand that. Got the full Fox dual stabilizers and it just sits freaking massive. This lift kit retail is $12,000. And I think that's without even the shocks. I gotta do a little bit more research, but give or take 12, 13 grand for this this lift kit it's like a 50 piece lift kit and it's like a 30 hour job installing it and next up got the wheels so the wheels are 26 16 specially forged forged one piece wheels these wheels were at one point a solid block of aluminum that they milled out with a machine brushed painted and made them all custom for this truck i actually bought these used and i was able to get these color matches to the truck by buying them used like literally i bought them red and it's the same red as my truck which is honestly pretty insane because this is like the perfect wheel setup for this truck like, this is like the dream wheel setup for this truck like if i were to order wheels this is the wheels i would have wanted these wheels retail is around it's hard to say because i bought them used but they're around 12 to 13 14 thousand dollars i'd say more like 12 or 13 which is also insane so we got a thirteen thousand dollar lift kit we got thirteen thousand dollar wheels then also install all this stuff if you brought it to like just a normal shop and you were just like a normal guy and you didn't know and you didn't have like a hookup it's gonna be about three grand so now we're looking at 13 grand for the wheels 13 grand for the lift three grand to put it on so about 29 30 grand give or take to have your truck looking like this if you if you wanted it to look like this which a lot of people think is just stupid because it's i guess not really as practical but i don't do this for it to be practical i do it because it looks like that and that's pretty sick. So now I know what you guys are gonna wanna know. You guys are gonna wanna know how I did this all for free. Like I said, this that's the point of the video, right? So pretty much it all started with the lift. I was on Facebook Marketplace one day, just scrolling away, and I found these coilovers. Yes, just the coilovers. This is just the coilover. So I found four coilovers on Facebook Marketplace for a thousand bucks. And they had the dual steering stabilizers, and they said they would throw that in to the deal. So I bought those, went to the house, picked them up, and I was planning on lifting the truck with them, but I didn't have a lift. I was gonna have someone custom make the lift. And then, like a week later, they post up this lift, the same people I bought the coilovers from. I guess, I don't know why they had this lift, but I bought this lift brand new, never installed, in the box. I don't know if this is the exact amount. It was either five or six hundred dollars. Yeah, five, six hundred bucks for this lift kit. Literally, I bought this lift kit that cost 12, 13 grand, for 1500 bucks brand new in the box never installed that right there is called a finesse like i don't know how i found a deal like that it was like a no-brainer when i seen it so once i bought the lift i knew i was gonna have to buy some wheels so here's how i finesse these wheels for free when i bought this truck stock it came with a set of wheels i'll attach a picture here i then sold those wheels for 2500 bucks i actually sold them for 1500 and the guy gave me a stocks i sold the stocks for a thousand that came out to 2500 bucks i got for the wheels that came on the truck also i bought another set of wheels that was on i'll attach a picture here i bought those for three grand i bought those with the money that i sold the other wheels for and then i sold those for four grand and they gave me another set of stock wheels which i'm gonna sell for another 12 1300 bucks so that's all profit that was able to put in 
to me affording to do this. And that's how I was able to do it for free. I'll crunch the numbers in the corner so uh, you guys know the exact amount, but it's so many numbers and so many little trades and deals and sells that made it happen. But all said and done, I've got about a thousand bucks cash out of my pocket sunk into this thing to make it look like this. That's really like an insane deal. It was all because I was able to get this lift for a crazy deal. I was able to buy these wheels for a crazy deal. I don't know if I mentioned this, but I bought these wheels for, I believe, 5,100 bucks. Um, and I bought these off Facebook Marketplace too. It, the thing just came out insane, dude. This thing came out so sick. Obviously, it's a lot of numbers to uh, comprehend. Like I said, I just said a whole bunch of numbers to you. Pretty much what it comes down to is just finessing the whole deal. I would never think I'd be able to afford something like this. Like, could I have afforded $30,000 to lift my truck? Probably. But would that be a smart financial decision? Definitely not. Like I would never pay 30 grand to lift my truck. But what I'm trying to get at is if you want something really bad and you're trying to make it happen, it's possible. Obviously you might not be able to get a lift kit like this for as good of a deal as I got. That might be like a once in a lifetime deal, but pretty much anything I've ever wanted in life, I was able to get. And not just because I bought it, but because I was able to finesse it. And figure out a way to get it. Just because you can't afford it, doesn't mean you can't have it. I hope that was a good explanation on what's done to the truck, um, how I was able to do it for free. And technically, I guess it's not for free because I paid a thousand bucks. But the thing is, I would have had to buy another wheels regardless. So, I mean, that thousand bucks, I would, what I'm trying to get is like, I would have had to spend that thousand bucks on another set of wheels regardless because I can't just sell the wheels off this thing and not put new ones on. But literally, if you want something, like I've always wanted to lift my truck, you can do it. Like, even if you can't afford it, you gotta learn other ways to do it. Like, if I wouldn't figure out how to do it this way, I would've figured out a way to make my truck this sick some other way. And it's all about just wanting it. You don't always just gotta go and ball out and drop full price on everything. There's there's always a way to finesse it. And that's what my kind of my whole life has been like, is always finessing deals, trying to figure out how to make things happen. Because if you want it, you can have it. If you would've told me I could've lifted my truck on 2616s on a 13 inch full coil over lift all around my truck for free, I wouldn't believe you, but anything's possible, I guess, if you if you try to figure it out and you try to finesse it and you really want it. So that's enough ranting about, you know, if you want something, you can get it because a lot of you guys already know that. But if you don't, I hope that motivates you a little bit to go get what you want. If you want something, go get that shit because anything's possible. By the way, this bitch still rips. Hall's ass still. All right, boys, I appreciate you watching. We're about to hit 61,000 subscribers, which is like crazy. Thanks so much for that. I guess I'll catch y'all later. Peace, and thanks for watching.